hunt squads are ready to go. This should be a fun one. Hi, everybody. James Stabalski here for EA Sports. No shortage of skill on the ice tonight. And we are about set to drop the puck on this one. The Wolves take possession to get this one underway. And Cheryl, listen to these fans here. They are getting loud. Some of them are getting on their feet here still applauding that save we saw. James, I think it's the appreciation for the desperation save, the compete, the will to keep that puck out of the net, and they're really showing them the love. Lots of time left in this period. Still looking for our first goal. The Golden Knights win the defensive zone faceoff. Handles the puck. Las Vegas plays it along the boards. Bell's gonna play it against the half wall. The Wolves scoop it up along the boards. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Great stick work as he puts it away. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. Las Vegas has it in the defensive end. Here they come up along the wing. Still has possession. The Wolves have it against the wall. Moving into the attacking zone. Fires it on net. Oh, he had a beat, but it goes off the inside post. Oh, a great chance there, James, and an opportunity to get the go-ahead goal, but the pipe gets in the way, and it says, not today. On the attack along the boards. Las Vegas looks to get things going now with the puck. And he takes the dish. The Wolves take possession in the defensive end. Loses his balance on the play. Petrangelo's lugging the puck. And now he tries to get it across to Bacchus. The Wolves look to start the transition game. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Too many bodies in the way. And makes the routine save. Oh, and another stop. What a sequence. I mean, he has been outstanding making consecutive saves. I mean, his defense, they gotta start playing. Circles back to center ice. Angles it over to low. Puts it on net. Oh, oh the save on the play. What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James. And the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. Well, as play continues, can you feel the love tonight? Listen to this place here, Cheryl. I can feel it. You can feel it. And he can feel it after that last save. Because you know what, fans? Are All alone. She was right there. You can see the frustration in her body language, and this is a little bit of puck luck as well. She opens up the wrist, she elevates the shot, and it goes off the bar and out. Works it across to Curry. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And cut that one out of the net. Puck is frozen, and we'll get a face off. More than half the frame has been played here. Still scoreless in this one. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Turned aside with a glove. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Some last second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. Gretzky's won the draw. Takes it into the slot. But here, coach is preaching all the time. Take away the eyes of the goaltender. What does that mean? It means you get yourself in front of that net, whether it's a double stack, a double screen, whatever you can do so that the goaltender can't find the puck. And he couldn't as he drops to that butterfly. He tries to make himself as big as possible, but he can't catch up to the puck. The Wolves have been rewarded with the lead here late this first period with all the shots they put on net. Powers cut it against the boards. And he easily stops that one. Gets a stick on it. Great save by the goaltender to get a pat on that one. Keeping the puck out of the net. And he sends it across to Vitelli. 
sends it in on the attack. The Wolves will play it in their own end. Gretzky's got the puck. Here's a chance! And that's blocked from someone in front. The Wolves have it now. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Dumps the puck in. The Wolves grab possession for the puck. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. Takes a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. A timely save is everything to your team. And this goaltender, he bails his team out. Relentless pressure. Big save just as time runs out. That's it for period number one. Second period action coming up in moments here on EA Sports. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Las Vegas needs to be more assertive with the puck, James. I mean, they haven't found a way to really create any opportunities with the limited time they've had with it. Why? Because their opponent has been all over it all night long. They need to change that now. Effective use of the paddle on that one. They've got the defense outnumbered. Denies them in close. It's in. They score. It takes a deflection up a skate it in. Well, at first I wasn't sure if it went directly in, but it did. It redirected off of the skate. This is a tough break. If you're the defensive team, you're in good position. Just trying to box out, and the next thing you know, it's in the back of your net. The Wolves extend the lead to 2 0 now in period number two. Yeah, and this is about right, James. They are holding the play. They've maintained possession, and they're getting a ton of shots on net. You look up at the scoreboard, and you say the right team is winning. Great pass from off the right side. Can't keep a hold of it. Shuts the door with a great save. Slides it diagonally to Solani. The Wolves take it along the wall. Fires it on net. Stones him in front. The Golden Knights gain possession along the wall. Moves the puck to the attacking area. Moves inside! Big time stop! Forsberg's pass was so difficult, James. I mean, he stumbled, so he's off balance. And off the crossbar! My goodness, what a shot! The Wolves get some emotion from the bench as they look to extend their lead and hit the post now. Everyone thought it might have gone in, and then they realized it didn't. Messier's taking it from his own end. The Wolves played along the boards. Into the corner now. Takes a shot. Oh, that goes off the mask, and it stays out. Scores! Make it three in a row, and they're coming now. Well, they certainly are. Three in a row. They've got their opponents on their heels. It is a wave. You can feel it. The energy, every single shift. They're getting it in. The Wolves have already created a mismatch here tonight when you look at the scoreboard, Cheryl, but they're not taking the foot off the gas. Well, they're not, and every time they have an opportunity to shoot, they're putting it to the net, and a lot of confidence for every player here when they get the puck into that offensive zone, the reason why they've got such a heavy lead. Pudernos has it and freezes the play. The Wolves have been putting lots of shots on net and have been rewarded for their efforts. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And that's turned aside. There's the whistle. We got an offside. Still lots of time left here in this frame. The Wolves have taken control of this one, now leading by three. And they've got the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. The Wolves played along the wing. From point blank, shuts it down with the paddle. What a stop. Denied that one. And that shot came quick, and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He be... Scores, and that's tipped in. No, James, I think this is being disallowed. It's going to be a high sticking. They'll review this to confirm the call. The call on the ice is no goal. They're going to go upstairs and see what the review is. 
multiple layers to this goal. Not only is it tough to bat out of the air, you have to have good sense of timing and hand-eye coordination, but you also have to have an awareness of where that puck is and where you're making contact with it. Because guess what? If it's above the crossbar, this is a no goal. Well, the war room seems to be on the same page with our officials now as both teams are back to center ice. And they grab possession of the puck after that center ice faceoff. Marchand's got it in the offensive zone. That's blocked. Misses. Sometimes when you're playing fast, you can be too fast and you can over-rotate. And this is a huge miss. As you can... Scores! And the road team is having themselves a party in this bar tonight. And I don't think anybody except them like it. No one likes it in this building, that's for sure. I mean, fans are leaving. They paid money for this ticket. And if you're on the ice, you just want to crawl out of there. But you can't. There's more game to play. This is a tough one, James. The Wolves continue to hammer the accelerator here in the offensive zone tonight. They've been incredible almost through two periods of play here. And I mean, their ozone possession time is dictating it all. The ability to get to the net and, of course, the motion on the outside, which is disrupting the coverage and opening up the lanes. Poirier's opted to hang on to the puck for a face-off. The Wolves lead in a big way here in this second. They have been on fire offensively. Offense his own face-off, and he wins the draw. And he gets just enough of it to keep it out for the back of the net. The Wolves will be tough to beat tonight if they continue to play the way they have been. Really active in the offensive zone. LaFontaine's got the puck, and they'll go on the attack. Gets a piece of it with the glove. More than half the period has expired. The Wolves have recently extended their lead, and it is a blowout. And they win the draw in the offensive zone, and they go to work. And that goes off a body. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Once the stick engages at the lower half of the leg or within the skates, you know it's going to be a tripping call. Our first opportunity to look at the power play unit set to go to work. First power play opportunity for this team. It's going to start in the face-off circle, getting possession with the win, and then looking to set up. Tosses it to Rantanen. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. From the point, looks to make something happen. And he was ready for that one. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Gretzky's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Oh, they just got enough of that to keep it out. Puck knocked loose after that hit. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Well, James, sometimes on a power play with more time and space, you can get lulled to sleep, and that's exactly what this is. A game of inches, and he puts it off the outside of the post. Las Vegas with a really good look there and unable to execute as they wire it off the pipe. Not sure how much of a difference it would have made, though, James. It's been a tough one from start to finish. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Houghton's ready for the draw this man advantage. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Las Vegas looks to break out in their own end. And he's knocked off the puck there. Hyman's up and ready to get back on the ice. Both sides back to even strength. A great effort by the penalty killers there. Well, the only good thing about that power play unit was they got in zone and got set up. But you can have all the possession time in the world, but if it doesn't generate opportunity, it means nothing. And he makes that save as well. Well, you know that he's a fierce competitor, and he battled to make consecutive saves there, James. The Wolves have spent the majority of tonight in the offensive zone, and they continue to lead big time here late in the second. Takes a shot. Oh, great save and a beauty on the play. There's another stop. What a great job of tracking the puck. Not one, but two consecutive saves. 
The Wolves have been the more active squad, and they continue to lead late in the second period. And they win the offensive zone faceoff. Now it scores! There's so much emphasis on winning faceoff, James, and this is why you get possession and you get a huge opportunity quick off the draw. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Official signals for the players to get into position, and we're about ready to drop the puck. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. The Wolves continue to lead here late in the second period by a wide margin. There's the buzzer bringing period number two to a close. Hey, listen, we've got lots more in store here on this broadcast, so don't even think about going anywhere. We're back with more in a moment. just moments away from the start of the third period. We are underway here in the third. Let's see if there's any sort of saving face at one end of the ice. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? Las Vegas has a fighting chance at a comeback here, James, but only if they start to attack the puck and gain entry to the offensive zone. How do you do that? you got to have it on your stick, which means retrieval is going to be key. The Golden Knights cross the line and gain the zone. The Wolves gain control of the puck. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. Being down by a bunch of goals, and then you get running around with frustration and out of control, and that's the reason why you took a penalty. And he 
slides it quickly to Ajo. Being on the power play is a privilege. Trust me, I know, I was never on it, always on the PK. So for those players who didn't execute, yes, they had a comfortable lead, and some would say it's not a big deal, but to each and every one of them, it should be. And he can't hang on after that hit. Easily turned aside by Poirier. The Wolves offense has been the story tonight as they continue to lead big time in the third. Backus wins the draw inside his defensive zone. Las Vegas moves ahead with the puck. The Golden Knights gain possession. Change lines, come on! The Wolves gain possession in their own end. Receives the pass. Oh, look at this chance. Turns it away. Poirier's been excellent tonight, James. I mean, the score could be a lot worse. His save percentage is great. He's doing everything to keep his team in it. They need to shore up their defensive end and get going north. The Wolves play it near the point. And that was a good... Oh, save on the play! Whoa! Oh, that's Grant Larson, James. I mean, he just stole away from his opponent, what a save. Way continues here, but this crowd still buzzing after what we saw, what a stop that was. Oh uh, yeah, and they're saying thank you to the goaltender right now, James, they're still on their feet, they're electric right now. And really, it's a nice feeling, why? Because it doesn't always go this way, so when you have it, you embrace it. The Wolves continue to lead here in the third, listening to their coach's message, lots of pucks on net. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? by the goaltender. Here's a chance. Oh, oh. Scores! And that one going off the defender for an own goal. Well, you don't see that very often when you shoot it into your own net trying to clear the puck. That's ugly. The Wolves are sending a clear message that they are not taking their foot off the gas in this third period here, Cheryl. Well, you can certainly tell that they bought into the game plan, and the coach is certainly ecstatic with the performance of the entire bench. I mean, look at the way they're moving, holding the puck, attacking the net at the right times. It has been a seamless effort. Setters are set, face off, ready to resume play. The Wolves take possession off the faceout. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Goaltender covers up and will get a faceoff. The Wolves can simply take this on cruise control based on the lead that they now have here in the third. And they take possession here in the offensive zone and time to go on the attack. And he was right there to make the stop on that play. Just fantastic work by the goaltender, making consecutive saves. How athletic. They win the draw and go on the attack. And he makes a save there. Moves it quickly over to Forsberg. Look at this down the right wing. They're on the attack. And he hangs on to the puck. Las Vegas takes hold of the puck. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. We got a whistle, penalty coming up. Marchand's getting called for tripping. Back to the face-off circle, they'll send the man advantage unit out again. James, the power play has not been successful, and you gotta find a way to get it to the net. Drive the lanes and crash the net. Along the right side into the offensive zone. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Shot! Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. There's another stop! Make it three in a row! Well, this is a primetime clinic on how to own the puck. I mean, they're managing it, and they are playing with it at will in the offensive zone. The Wolves have it behind the cage. Pad save with ease. Las Vegas with possession in their own zone. And now he moves it quickly to Little. And that's broken up by Rankin. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. Houghton's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty. 
penalty here. There's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. Hughes is going off for tripping. Las Vegas will go to work on the five on three, but briefly. A short five on three, you're on the stick, off the stick. You're not gonna have a lot of time to move the cover, so driving it towards the net and crashing it is key. Turned aside by Poirier. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. The Wolves are gonna wanna bring this big lead home late in the third. LaFontaine's won the draw here, and they'll go on the attack. Marchand's out of the sin bin and joins the penalty kill here. It's Charles! Oh! Oh! rebounding period on the power play! Well, we talked about it earlier, James. you got to get bucks to net, and you have to have players are willing to pay the price net front. And it shows right there they're able to corral the rebound and put it in the net. Well, this is just a fantastic play on the rebound, just showing great hands in tight to be able to catch and release that puck. Positioning from that slot area, you know that if you get all 
The Wolves have traded tonight like a shooting gallery and are in cruise control late in the third. And they win the faceoff and set up to go on the attack. No room for that one to get through. That's a textbook save. It's a Right on the doorstep. The rebound there to be had. And they made no mistake about tucking that one home. James, these are the kind of pesky goals that create a ton of energy for your team. The rebound pops out after the shot. You have to have a hard stick, be heavy on it. With it on the ice, battling compete for it. He does it and buries it. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Messier's won the draw here in the neutral zone. from everywhere just the landscape of the game is so fast but man did was he ever athletic tonight he showed his movement his mobility and then his ability to track he was excellent really good great night of action on the ice and i can't wait to do it again i know you can't wait either so we'll see you next time and real soon at that.